Huh, you will make some noise. Hey, welcome back to my Motor Kids review. Well, it's been so long because I've been so busy with my Legos, Lego sets. Well, anyway, this is a big box. I'm so sorry, I cannot handle it. A big box with a small background. But anyway, that's a great aircraft. Big, big, big one, four engines, triple tailed, the Lockheed 1049G Super G or Super Constellation from Heller brand. This is a French one in association with Humbrol from England. Great combination. Well, the box is so big, uh, dimensions are 50 centimeters long by 33 centimeters wide by 7 centimeters deep or maybe height. Well, what's the representation of the airline? An extinct or uh, disappeared airline, the TWA or Transworld Airlines. This aircraft is often described as the Queen of the Skies. Great model. I really like this kind of finishing. I mean, no big deal about the panel lines. It is completely smooth and flat. Uh, well, it was painted by a professional modeler with the same criteria just like me. No big deal about the panel lines. Maybe uh, something uh, here and there, but not big deal. No uh, tensors or antennas, because the motor is extremely long uh, for uh, the straight uh, to keep it straight so um, maybe the modeler decided not to play them let's describe the sides of the box this is uh, another side of you this is the right side of the aircraft with uh, sorry this is this model I bought this uh, used well unused but uh, it was taped already and uh, with these uh, ugly marks for uh, trying to, to get uh, the tape off and it left these ugly things. The same name of the aircraft in 172nd scale, luck hit, 1049G Super G, the home roll and Heller logo association with the France color flag. That's nice, original. This side, same thing, and this is uh, important for the code. The Heller code is 8314. If you want to look at it um, in, in the catalog the Heller catalog. Well, more information uh, about it, it's um, written in so many languages, uh, maybe eight languages, yes, including Spanish, that's right. Dimensions of the aircraft, I mean the model, model kit, 49 centimeters uh, length by 52 centimeters wingspan. It contains 98 pieces, maybe plus the uh, decal sheet. Recommended for children with 10 years and more. Description about it, the TWA, that's the delivery aircraft, um, airline livery from 1955. Humbrol coats, uh, paint coats, the 11, 22, 56, and 33, and um, the 85. This model kit is made in France, 
the year of manufacturing is 1990. It is not showing on the box, but I search it on internet and many people says, say sorry, that it is from 1990. Let's open the box. Oh, nothing at the back. Let's open the box and let's check the gems inside. The big, big fuselage has... Wow, that's extremely big, long, with this uh, uh, kind of uh, aluminium finishing from the plastic, but, but with some uh, imperfections of the plastic moldings. I mean, uh, some uh, wavings or... That's typical from this uh, kind of finishing. Unfortunately, um, this model is uh, without a big deal about the details inside. I mean, no curtains, no main floor, no seats, no passengers, no uh, galley or compartments or buckets, etc. Uh, as you see, that's a uh, Heller kind of printed or... I, I don't remember the name of this uh, kind of uh, in the raised uh, impression. Anyway, uh, we have to be so careful with this uh, long, typical long uh, fuselage halves because they have a kind of uh, warped finishing. But it is so easy to press, and when you press them, no problem, they get the right form. So, don't panic, that's fine, no problem. Um, I've been checking the panel lines. Panel lines, uh, let me check much better with the lamp. The, the, the panel lines are um, slightly uh, raised, but I think they will disappear when you uh, sand the surface before painting. Before painting, uh, and I found some imperfection. Oh no! Uh, you have to to fix it so accurate. Maybe you will uh, get some. Um, let me check in a much better way. Sometimes uh, some uh, panel lines are uh, unaligned. Yes, you have to to move it uh, little by little in order to check the alignment. Alignment. Sorry. Yes. Okay, uh, that's about the big uh, and large fuselage halves. Let's check the main wings. The wings are made in five sections. Three underneath, or the under, uh, I mean the lower half, they got three sections, two tips and one center. Let me get the pieces out of the box and check the other part of the, the main wing, I mean the middle part of the lower half should be connected with this one. Okay. Checking more wings. I mean, more wing halves. These are the upper halves with, uh, as explained before, raised, slightly um, raised panel lines, except for uh, alerions, the flaps, and uh, the marks for the icing boots. That's it. Two halves, two upper halves. 
for the tail we got four four halves parts made with uh, recessed panel lines the rudders rudders or uh, alerians sorry and these ones are uh, raised slightly raised they are combining both okay uh, some parts like the door uh, landing gears uh, landing gears struts bucket only for the main uh, pilot cabin or cockpit what else we have here this uh, vertical fin one of them the engines calls the wheels oh bad surprise one of the propellers is losing I mean is Oh, it's broken. Typical from these big models. Well, nice to fix. But the the lucky thing is that it is it's, it's still present. I don't have to make it complete. Only glue it. That's it. Well, radial engines, more... Uh, landing gear struts three blades each uh, propellers more frames with cowl cowling um, engine cowlings engine cowlings uh, more uh, rudder of vertical fin more um, landing gear doors wheels and complete the, um, the blades of the propellers the antennas little antennas the shaft, uh, the propeller uh, holders. Well, let's check more uh, tank tips separately. Tank tips for the wings, more struts, and the uh, transclear parts with these two rounded. Uh, rounded parts let me show you a much better or close closing up and let's check the um, the cockpit uh, glass yes some windows uh, stripes yep it fits perfectly through the windows uh, holes on the fuselage halves more um, rounded uh, glasses it's got one uh, big and one small oh yeah what else building instructions building instructions are so big extremely big and uh, it's got only 10 steps so it is so easy to build but so difficult to paint because the mixing of the white color with the aluminium and black etc. Well, um, starting with the uh, engine, uh, building the engines, the step number two is um, assembling the cockpit uh, cabin with this uh, bucket. Um, instrument panels they it's, uh, it's got a uh, decal on this uh, to, to place on this uh, part okay this is the cockpit uh, assembling uh, the landing gear the front landing gear with this cockpit let me get it closer yes 
that's it. Assembling the, um, the tail with the vertical fin, one of them. This one is the left side. Uh, this one is the right side. Step number six, assembling the landing gear, the main ones. And this big part is assembling the large fuselage with the windows. As you see, nothing inside, no floors, no seats, etc. The main wings, as I told you, five parts, two halves, the upper, upper sections, and three halves, lower section. Additional, uh, another half for the tank tip for each side. Step number nine, assembling the engine coils to the wings. And uh, step number 10 is just assembling the landing gear, the doors, and other things, antennas, etc. And the most uh, challenging process is the making of this uh, airline, as I told you, that's the um, uh, TWA, Transworld Airlines, with uh, the boundaries of the aluminium zone with the white zone. This part is uh, mixing the aluminium with white with uh, these proportions, as you see, just like this. This way, I'm sorry. This way, let me put this uh, much better. This is the aluminium, the 56. The 85 coat is the black. This one is the aluminium. And this one is white, the number 22. But this one uh, is the mixing of uh, 4 fifth, um, the number 22, with the um, 1 fifth, number 11, mixing. It's kind of a light um, aluminium for these stripes. This one. I think that's a challenging thing. Uh, color lists. And uh, if you are not satisfied with this motor kit, you could write uh, to the Heller company and uh, give the complaint comments. And the last thing about it, and so important to us, is the decal sheet. That's a great great condition, great quality from Heller. What I see uh, weird is the texture of the background. It's kind of dirty. Yes, maybe uh, when you dip it them um, into the warm water, the, these dirty parts will get away. I think it's not going to destroyed by many many pieces when you dip them into the water in the, the warm water no problem TWA livery for that great model well that's it about this wonderful model the Lockheed 1049G Super G or Super Constellation if you want to call them to call it this way. Thank you very much for watching this review and let's go on, as always, to the next one. Bye bye!